fiery horse with the speed of light, the cloud of dust, and a hearty high silver, the Lone Ranger. In the early days of the western United States, the Pony Express riders were chosen for their endurance, skill, and bravery. The trails they followed led through dangerous country, and many times the mail would never have reached its destination if it had not been for the masked rider of the plains. It was he more than any other man who drove the outlaws from the new territory and safeguarded the first system of fast communication on the frontier. Return with us now to those thrilling days when the West was young. From out of the past come the thundering hoof beats of the great horse Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come on, Silver. We're heading for Buffalo Gap. Hull waiting for us. Hull Silver, away! <laughs> The one-story frame building that served as meeting hall and courtroom for the tiny frontier town of Buffalo Gap was jammed to the doorway with cowpunchers and townspeople. Every eye was fixed on the young man who stood with his hands be tied behind his back, his arm held by the sheriff as he faced the judge to hear his sentence. Odd, Graham. The jury's found you guilty of murder, according to the evidence. This court states that on the morning of Tuesday next, one week hence, you are to be taken out at dawn and hanged by the neck till you're dead. And may God have mercy on your soul. Take him back to the jailhouse, Sheriff. That's all. You can't string me up. I didn't do it. Come on, Graham. I didn't do it, I tell you. Who's making a ruckus? Come on. One side, folks. Right through this door, Graham. No sense cutting through this herd. Out of the way. Quiet. Quiet in this court. You get to leave the sheriff. He is prisoner alone. It's just across the street, Graham. Keep walking. Sheriff, I tell you, I didn't do it. Jury decided again. You reckon it's settled. Hang by the neck until dead. Next Tuesday. I reckon so. Only a week more. Just a week. And here we are. Reckon they better put you back in your cell, Todd. Yeah. Todd, I... Doggone it, I'm sorry about this. The evidence is again you, the verdict's in. But all along, I couldn't believe you'd done it. I couldn't believe it. I agree with you, Sheriff. What the? I'm an ask man. Don't slap leather, Sheriff. An outlaw, I... I wouldn't if I were you. Sheriff, did you see that? Had his guns out and pointing at you before you moved a finger. Lightning fast on the draw, aren't you, masked man? How'd you dare to come into town anyway? We knew the whole town would be in the courtroom. We left our horses out and back where they wouldn't be spotted. Tonto. Uh, an engine pard. Yes, Sheriff. Keep watching the street, Tonto. Make sure we're warned before anyone comes here. Well, me, tell me. Me watch. What did you come here for, mister? Your prisoner's name is Graham, isn't it? Well, that's my name, but I've never seen you before. We found a saddle out on the plains. It had your name on it. An old saddle, Graham. You and the engine found it? Yes. You can leave the window a moment, Tonto. Oh, got saddle in blanket. Here, saddle. Oh, 
Let me go back to Wyndham. Well, that, well, that's mine, all right. Yeah, but I don't see what this proves, mister. Todd Graham was convicted of that crime because one of his broken stirrups was found near the scene. This saddle is missing a stirrup. That clinches the case. Sheriff, all along I told you the saddle was stolen from me long ago. Yeah, but Just I... a minute, Sheriff. On that stirrup you found, was the strap broken or cut? Why, broken, of course. Looked as if the leather just parted. Take a look at the strap on this saddle we brought in. What about it? What are you driving at? Take a good look. Oh, I don't savvy what all this falder all has to do with... Hold on. It'll be a pack mule. This leather's been cut, not broken. It's been cut. Yes. But, but it don't make sense. How could one end be cut and the other end broken? It would make sense if someone cut a stirrup off the saddle and tore the loose end so it would look broken. Huh? Sheriff, jump and gophers. What the masked man is saying is what I've been saying all along. Somebody done it on purpose to make me look guilty. Well, yeah, it could have been that. Uh, but you need more than that to get you out, Graham. That's too slim to get a new trial. It is? I'm afraid so. The whole town's against you. It's too bad, son. If I only had more time before this hanging is scheduled, the time to look for more evidence. You can make time, Sheriff. Well, how can I? Judge set the date a week from Tuesday. You can get a stay of execution from the governor of the territory. What? Why, so I can, by Pony Express. Would it get back in time? In plenty of time. And you can make sure you get the real criminal. I'll send a letter by this evening. Miss man, I, I don't know how to thank you. No, me. A sheriff, I like to see justice done, and I think Todd's innocent. <laughs> you know, when I found you here, I thought first you might be meaning to break Todd out of jail with guns. <laughs> My mission is to help the law, Sheriff. That means doing things according to law. Whoever you are, I'll never forget this. Never so long as I can... Sabi. Yes, Tonto. We go now. Plenty men come. Right. We mustn't be found here. Out the back. Adios, Sheriff. Keep your chin up, Graham. Adios! Sure. They sure move fast. Sheriff, you, you think the governor will give me a stay of execution? You go on, Todd. Get into your cell pronto. I got work to do. I got to write that letter and get it off on the Pony Express tonight. Now, you lights, get that sort of horse saddled and ready. Riders do most any minute. Can't hold him up for want of a fresh horse. Concern that lazy groom. Oh, howdy, Clanch. When did you come in? Oh, I like to drop into the Pony Express office every once in a while, Johnson. Like to see the riders come in, get fresh horses, and dash off again. Adds a little excitement to the town. Got plenty of excitement already. You mean Todd Graham getting convicted? Yeah, too bad. He's a real nice gent. Not in my books. What I say is he's getting no more than he deserves. I uh, see the sheriff is sending a letter by Pony Express to the governor of the territory. That's private mail, Clench. I was just curious, Johnson. No harm done. Yeah? Now, look at here, Johnson. You don't for one minute think I got any reason to go prying into other people's affairs, Get do you? Me. Come on, boy! It's Dudley coming in with the Pony Express. Yeah, let me help you with them saddlebags. Get away! All right, all right. Hang on to your precious mail. Dudley's coming in, Lige. You got that remount ready? He's ready and waiting, Mr. Johnson. Well, what in blazes? Mrs. Dudley, since when did you take to grooming horses for the Pony Express? I told Lige to let me hold the reins. It's seldom enough I get to see my husband. That's all right, ma'am. Here, I'll just... Please, Mr. Johnson, let me put those saddlebags on the horse. Why, sure. Looks like you trust her and don't trust me, Johnson. Maybe so. Here he comes. Bob! Bob! Hiding everybody. Where's my rebounds? I made record time for Middlebridge, and I'm going to split the wind from here to Osage. I... May! <laughs> Hello, Bob. Have you got any time for your wife? Honey, what time I got is sure yours. How about a kiss? Uh, uh, Dudley. Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah, Johnson, I plumb forgot. Here's your mail for Buffalo Gap. This press goes on to Osage. I'll sort this right now. Better get traveling, Dudley. Adios, Johnson. Sorry, May. Time to slip a foot in the stirrup. A friend of yours slipped more than a foot in the stirrup, Dudley. Oh, howdy, Clench. Didn't see me in the dark, huh? I saw you, but I'm not eager about talking to you. Just what did you mean by that passing remark? Todd Graham's due for a necktie party. What? Why, you... Bob, please. You haven't time. I'd like to lay one alongside Clench's jaw. Graham's a friend of mine, and he knows it. You've got to ride. Yeah. Vamoose, Clench. Uh, look here, Dudley, I, I don't... I said vamoose, skedaddle. Having you around is worse than playing leapfrog with a skunk. Get traveling. Kino, maybe I'll be seeing you later. Yeah, that poison sidewinder. And Bob, listen. Is what he said true, May? Yes. Is Todd... Are they really gonna... Yes, Bob. Next Tuesday. They convicted him on that flimsy stirrup evidence? 
Oh, I tell you, maybe... Wait, Bob. There's still a little hope. Huh? I came here to see you, but there's something else. The sheriff is trying to get Todd a stay of execution. He is? There's a letter to the territorial governor right in that saddlebag. Gosh, then it ain't as bad as it seemed. I don't know what convinced the sheriff, but he's trying to help Todd. He sure is, and so will I... Jehoshaphat, what am I standing around for? Come here, horse. The sooner I get moving, the sooner that letter gets to the governor. <coughs> Goodbye, May. Good I gotta luck, travel. Bob. Now I'm really gonna bust the record. Get up there. Come on, boy. Get up, boy. Spider. Hey, Spider, open up. It's me, Clench. You almost drew a bullet, Clench. You should have spoken your name sooner. You alone? Uh, where else would I be? Thought I was an outlaw, huh? I don't count in the lawman. Speak your piece, Clench. Just a second. Well, you're acting spooky. Something wrong? Yeah, maybe trouble. What kind of trouble? That job we done ain't setting as well as I figured. Yeah, stop circling. You're acting like a bird dog on the loose. Todd Graham may not hang, Spider. You're loco. He's already been convicted, ain't he? Yeah, but there's a we chance... We him good with that hold-up job. He was tried and the jury called him guilty. And the judge says he's to be strung up Tuesday next. Mm-hmm. And you still say there's trouble? You're dreaming up mirages, Clench. The sheriff wrote to the governor of the territory, Spider. I don't care what you say. Huh? What's that? Maybe Graham's going to get a stay of execution. Is this straight? As a string. I moseyed over to the Pony Express office. Not only did I see the envelope, but I heard Dudley's wife tell him. What did you do? Nothing. Johnson was too suspicious of me. If I had the chance, I'd have taken the letter then and there. And now? In Dudley's saddlebags. He's riding boot and spur for Osage. Fast, huh? Fast as his pony can pound the prairie. Doggone it. Why didn't you ride after him and shoot him? Don't be a fool, Spider. He's got a fast pony. Besides, killing won't solve it. That stay of execution can't be stopped. There's only one way. There is? Supposing, Spider. Just supposing the governor's answer got misplaced. Sort of disappeared until after Tuesday. It wouldn't do Todd Graham any good then, would it? You mean that... I mean when a man's been hanged, it's too late to bring him back, Savvy. Yeah, Clench. We're riding toward Osage, Spider. We'll be waiting for Dudley when he heads back here. <laughs> yeah, Spider, Todd Graham wouldn't be feeling so chipper if he knew about us, huh? <laughs> Yeah? Yeah, Todd, here's your dinner coming. A dinner? You haven't got a tray in your hands. Nope, it's coming right along behind me. Come in, Miss Dudley. Hello, Todd. Me. Oh, gosh, how are you? Just fine. Now, if you'll open the cell door, Sheriff. Oh, shucks, I clean forgot. <laughs> May, it, how about Bob and that letter the Sheriff sent the Pony Express? Is there any news? Now, Todd, you just eat. We'll talk. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Take it easy, son. It's only been three days since that letter went. Only have four days left. Bob's laying over in Osage. That letter had to go all the way to St. Francis. He won't see the governor's letter for another two days at the very least. That'll leave only two days. That's time enough. Bob writes from Osage here in less than a day. Sure, Graham. And meantime, the masked man's helped me dig up the real evidence. I'm plumb certain somebody framed you. Who do you figure? Well, I'd rather not say till I'm sure, uh, but... Who's that? Uh, Jumping catfish. That sounds like the masked man. At midday? Must be something important. Stay here and eat that grub, Todd. I'm gonna see. Sheriff, we can't stay too long. Hurry. Well, I'm right here, mask man. Is it about Graham and it... Thunderation. I forgot to lock his cell door. Forget it, Sheriff. He won't break jail. Yeah, I reckon not. Sheriff, Tonto and I have found some more evidence. Points to Clench and Spider. Enough to start a new trial? No, not enough, but... Then what's the use that's of... That's not all. Tonto and I went to their cabin. Sheriff, Clench and Spider are gone. They may have been gone for two or three days. But we could see their trail at east toward Osage. Osage? The Pony Express route. You're thinking the same thing we you are. You think they're aiming at Dry Gulch Dudley? Tonto and I have fast horses, Sheriff. You stay here. We can do as well alone. Sir Silver. The masked man, just a second. I can get a posse. There's in. no time, Sheriff. You stay here. But the date for the hanging. He'll try on the trail, Tonto. Get him on, Silver. Sure, he'll try. But if anything goes wrong, heaven help Todd Graham. <laughs> curtain falls on the first act of our Lone Ranger story. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments.
Now to continue our story. The Lone Ranger and Tonto had come to the aid of a man condemned to death. Convinced of his innocence, the masked rider had prevailed on the sheriff to send a letter by Pony Express asking the governor for a stay of execution. But the Lone Ranger found that the men he suspected of the crime had left their cabin. Quickly, he and Tonto set out to trail them. The trail marks are faint, but they head east. Osage, that way. You think they go along Pony Express? It's hard to say. They may have quartered even further to the east. And why they do that? Towards St. Francis. That's where the governor is. They might try to hold up the stay of execution there. Maybe so. But maybe they think it better to stop Pony Express rider on trail. It's a gamble either way, Kimosabe. Only one thing for us to do. We keep on, follow the trail? Maybe slow going later, but we'll follow it as long as we can. What happen if we lose trail? We'll discuss that when the time comes. Buster Silver! Get him up, Plains, how long do we track along this creek? Oh, a couple of miles, maybe. But what for? Just follow along, Spider. I'd like to know what a reason for a thing is, Clinch. Keno, Spider. We start out bold as brass, making no more attempt to cover our tracks than a herd of stampeding buffalo. Yep. We make camp last night with a regular fire. Then this morning I wake up. You've scattered the fire, covered it up. Uh huh. And... All day long we've been covering our tracks real careful, like. Well, what for? Playing safe, Spider. I got to thinking last night. For all we know, maybe the sheriff's got a line on us. He convicted Graham, didn't he? For sure, but then he got doubtful. Why else would he look for a stay of execution? Hey, that's so, Clinch. That's smart figuring. I aim to keep it smart. You mean maybe the sheriff is still out looking for evidence? Yeah, evidence against us. Think he's got any? I don't know. That's why we're playing it close, Savvy. We crossed the hard pan four times. The horse has left no track. Then we crossed the quicksand. That's enough to throw anybody off. And all this water. Yeah, when I do something, I do it complete. Like you framed Graham. Yeah, and like he's gonna stay framed till that noose goes around his neck. It's getting dark, Clinch. You know, up this bank. Get a force. We make camp up here? Yeah, dry camp. No fire for anybody to see. How much further do we gotta go before we're alongside the Pony Express Trail, Clinch? <laughs> I guess you don't know where you are, huh? I lost my bearings long ago. You'll rein up your horse. Take a look around you, Spider. Huh? Take a good look. You've been in this section before. Hey, this begins to look familiar. Yeah? Why, we're, we're sitting right next to the Pony Express Trail, right next to it. <laughs> yep. You mean all we got to do is camp here till Dudley comes along? Yeah, Spider, that's all. And I don't reckon there's anybody in the West slick enough to follow that trail we set either. Left this hard pan someplace, Kimosabe. Ah, uh, but where? Rocks stretch plenty far. We've been quartering across it all afternoon. But wherever the rock ends in sand or dirt, there isn't a sign of their tracks. We waste plenty of time, huh? Too much. Here we are, back at the quicksand again, and I... Uh-huh. What matter? Why you stop? Out of... Uh-huh. The quicksand. They might have used an old trick. What you mean? They could have crossed the quicksand that way. Tonto not understand, Kimosabe. If they take horse in quicksand, horse sink down till sand cover them. Ground too soft. You recall those willows we passed back before we hit the rock? Uh huh. Many of the twigs and branches had been cut. I right. wondered why they took them. That's right. They not used them for firewood. They could have used them to cross this quicksand. Ah. You savvy what they do. Tonto not think of that. No wonder we found no trace. The quicksand leveled out as soon as they passed, and the branches sank out of sight. Come on, we'll circle the quicksand until we locate them. Uh, you circle the west. I'll head around the eastern edge. If you see any sign, fire two shots. Maybe them here shots. We'll have to risk that. Get them up. Come on, Silver. There's Tonto up ahead, Silver. And he didn't fire his gun. Aye. Any sign, Tonto? No. Uh. We not find anything. I saw no tracks either, Kimosabe. That means only one thing. We lose trail. No. Huh? Follow me this way. Where we go? Just around this patch of sagebrush. Here. Oh, that creek. Yes, Kimosabe. The creek drains from the quicksand. If they left the quicksand no place else. They must have left it here. We go heap fast along creek now, huh? Until dark, Tonto. Then we'll start out again in the first light of morning. All I hope is that we're not too late. Spider, 
Spider on your feet? What? Clarence, what's the matter? Don't go wall-eyed, Spider. Nothing wrong. You heard something. You heard somebody after Nobody's us. Nobody's after us, and I heard nothing. Only reason I'm rousing you is it's time to get set. Huh? Can't you see? It's coming along to dawn. We're moving out. Kino, where's my shooting irons? I got the horses saddled already, Spider. <laughs> Follow me. The spot I picked is just a hoot and holler down the trail. While we ride, I want you to take the kinks out of your lariat. Yeah, what for? Uh, just do it. I'm doing likewise with mine. All right. Yeah, I want them nice and limber. Dudley ought to be galloping through this way in a couple hours. If he keeps the schedule. If anything, he'll be ahead of schedule. Yeah. Here, rein up. This is the spot? Yeah. Good spot for an ambush. We can hide right behind them cottonwoods and the bluff. Uh-huh. Tie these two lariats together, Spider. Right. Good and tight. How's that? Yeah, it'll do. I'll tie this end around this tree. Low down, right near the ground. Yeah, there. Take my horse's reins, lead them back toward our hiding place. You're burying that rope under the dirt. Sure. That so Dudley don't see it until it's too late. Until it's... Now I get it, Clinch. So that's your scheme. That's it. Come on, we'll stay hid back here further with one end of the rope snubbed around our saddle horns. We pull back just as Dudley crosses yonder. His pony hits the line and goes down in a heap. He'll never know what done it. Yeah, and we take the governor's letter from the saddlebags. Now all we do is wait. Simple, ain't it? Get up, pony. Cover the ground, boy. The Pony Express has got to get through. There's a bluff in the cottonwoods. We're making extra good time. And we got to. I got that stay from the governor right in the saddlebag. I... Watch out! <laughs> Spider, it worked like a charm. That rope come up just right. You sent him sprawling. Is he hurt? No, no, just unconscious. Use your gun. Don't be loco. No sense in shooting. He's in such an all-fired hurry, he'll start riding again the minute he comes to. What I want's his pony. Here, boy. Steady, fella. That's it, boy. That's... Now. Hold his reins. I'll look through the saddlebags. Take the one that side. I got this. Uh, there's plenty of mail in this pouch. Uh, here it is. I got it. Official seal. Take a look inside. Uh, that's it? Yeah. The governor of the territory extends a stay of execution to Todd Graham at the request of Sheriff. Yeah, that's it. Throw it away. Throw it away, nothing. Oh. Hey, what the... It's Dudley. He's coming to No guns, you fool. Let him think he lost the letter. He won't stop to look now. Unhitch that lasso and get back out of sight. Yeah, take the horses. Fast. Come on, horses. Here's the rope. Get back. Just in time. He's waking up. Oh. Quiet. What happened? Oh, I recollect. Must have put your foot in a gopher hole, boy. Steady now. Steady while I climb into the saddle. Oh, mighty groggy, but I reckon it'll clear up. Oh, I hope you can travel, pony. Least ways you can make it to the next station so as I get a fresh horse. We, we gotta get to Buffalo Gap before they hang Todd. Come on, boy! What'd I tell you? Didn't even look to see if the letter was going. His pony is limping. Well, he'll make good time anyway. He gets fresh horses all along. But it won't make any difference. He'll show up there without the stay of execution, and Graham will be done for. <laughs> you reckon I'm a right smart hombre, huh, Spider? Where's the letter? Safe and sound. I'll hold it a while and then toss it away. Let it drift with the wind. But I'll read it a couple times more first. It makes me feel extra good. <laughs> Governor, the territory extends a stay of execution to Todd Will Graham. you stop reading that letter, Clinch? You know it by heart now. <laughs> Get rid of it, will you? Nothing can happen now. We're all... Clinch. What in places? Two riders just come over the ridge. They travel. They're after us. Come on, Sylvia. They're coming up fast. Throw that letter away. There, yeah, there. It's gone. Grab for your holster. Shoot him. Oh, my hand. Keep your hands high. Don't shoot again. That horse. Your mask. The Lone Ranger. Clinch did the killing when we held up that stage. We framed Graham. He's innocent. Spider, you yellow coyote. You Let me pick up letter. You look. The pardon from the governor. And Clinch and Spider have confessed. Toto, tie these men to their horses and head for Buffalo Gap. I'm riding ahead to save Todd Graham. You go plenty past. It's a long way to ride one horse. Silver can do it. He's beaten the Pony Express relays before this. We'll make it. Come on, boy. I'll Silver! Here's the cottonwood, gents. 
I'm sorry about this, Graham. But, Sheriff, I could have swore I had that stay of execution in my saddlebag. I must have lost it. We talked it. this all over before, gents. The law is the law. Uh, I'm ready, Sheriff. I know you did your best for me. You too, Judge. Todd. Bob, you better take me away from here. Promise me you won't rest till you find the real crooks. We promise, Todd. We promise. Graham, the rope's ready. Well, I reckon I am too. Come on, May. You can't stay here. Not when they're gonna hang Todd. Put in blazes. That's a mess, man. Don't shoot. Nobody shoot. He's firing into the air. Don't shoot. Sheriff, you can stop your hanging. Here's a note from the governor. It was stolen from the Pony Express on the trail. Glory be. Dudley, did you hear that? Graham, this is it. You're not going to be strung up. Judge, judge, take a look at this. Stolen from me on the trail. Best man, I don't savvy. Tell what I found where Clench and Spider had spilled your pony with a rope. A rope, so that was it. I never thought to look in the saddlebags. Mister, you saved my neck. Now all the sheriff's got to do is to find Clench and Spider. Tello has them now. What? He's on the trail behind me. They're roped to their horses, and they've confessed to the murder. Sheriff, sheriff, do you hear that? The masked man's engine parts got Clench and Spider, and they've confessed. He's bringing them in for you. Todd, that means you're a free man. Sheriff, let me go with you to bring those palmets in. Shucks, Graham, use your eyes. Huh? There's no use in us going. The masked man's already on his way after him, doing the law's work for us. And, mister, he's doing it better than any lawman I ever saw. The story you have just heard is a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated.